Good afternoon, members of the jury and other dignified teachers. Myself, Rahul SP, and my topic is Fin Rehabilitation Center. Uh, I have named this project Hasti when I'm meaning the forest of elephants. Elephants are symbols of strength and wisdom. The elephant. Elephants have strong emotions and are believed to be sacred in many cultures. As per the International Union for Conservation of Na Nature, Asian elephants' population is decreasing and is among the endangered species. This graph shows um, the decrease in elef Asian elephant population from 1800 to uh, 2000. The main reasons for this is uh, are the firstly the loss of habitat, that is deforestation. Secondly, the elephant human conflict and thirdly poaching that for ivory at the current rate of decline the asian elephants can be extended in 2023 and hence the elephants at risk should be rehabilitated and effective survival of these species should be ensured the proposal is put forward by the department of forest and wildlife uh, government of kerala for establishing a state of art elephant rehabilitation center at kotur in agastyavan and bio reserve the aim is to Design a state of art elephant rehabilitation center at Kotur in Agastyavanam Biological Park range. The elephants weigh up to 5,000 kilos and grew up to 5 meters in length and 3.5 meters in height. Elephants spend most of their time eating, and a high amount of fresh water is needed. Temperature tolerance of elephants vary from 20 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, they eat wide variety of plant species, including grass, woody plants, and cultivated crops. Elephants are susceptible to a number of diseases and other, and deaths due to diseases are more than the natural deaths. Mustin elephants take a duration of three months, and for the care of care and welfare of elephants, the following should be maintained properly, like physiological needs, like shelter, food, water, veterinary care, safety needs, social needs, movement needs, and communication and mental stimulation. Um, elephants are environmental architects and create jungle clearing and pathways and dig ho water holes. Proper care should be taken in case of calves. A safe and healthy diet should be given and a clean and dry place to rest. Uh, elephants sleep by laying down or by standing better if the head laying position on, of the floor is comparatively higher than the area. Other areas. Uh, housing area for the adult is 9 by 5 meters, and the tethering site should have shade and proximity to water. Uh, next is the uh, case study analysis. I have studied about Hathi Gaon in Amber, um, Rajasthan, Koni Elephant Reserve in Koni Patanandita, and Pinawala Elephant Orphanage at Rambukana, uh, Sri Lanka. About the context, Hathi Gaon uh, covers a uh, Area of 62 acres and the region is and the region is arid. Um, the Koni Elephant Reserve covers an area of nine acres at a tropical rain, a tropical forest region with uh, no major in human interventions, uh, just like Hathigon and Pinawala. And Pinawala uh, covers a site area of 25 acres in a tropical forest region. It, uh, the inference is that the region for elephant elephants should be cool and covered with lush green plants. Uh, less human interventions is preferable, and proximal uh, natural features like water bodies can, are better. Uh, in Hathigon, about site zoning and occupancy in Hathigon, there are 55 elephants and one maot per elephant, including the maot family, and artificial water bodies are created by uh, linking reservoirs. Um, in Koni, there are seven elephants. There are seven elephants and uh, two mouth, uh, two mouths per elephant, one manager, one elf livestock manager and an attender. Here the elephant spaces are away from the public and, um, and the road. Water is made available by means of rainwater harvesting and also has fresh water connection from Achangubil. Uh, in Pinnavala, there are 80 elephants and two mouths per elephant. The elephants are walked to uh, three, walked 300 meters for bathing in Maha Oya River, and the elephant spaces are away from the roads, allowing no noise uh, disturbance for the elephants and no order disturbance for the uh, disturbance. Uh, 
and uh, the inference is that the spaces for visitors and the elephants should be should not be disturbing to each other and there should be a transitional space and there and there should be a minimum of two mouths each elephant for each elephant and a proximity between a uh, mouth shelter and elephant shelter could uh, is to be kept the next is the site planning and uh, design strategy uh, one unit of housing in hathigon has uh, three elephant shelters uh, with a, with respective food storage area and uh, uh, and three more shelters uh, eight units form a cluster with central region as elephant free room area the sections of koni uh, elephant reserve says that the noise buffer and uh, order buffer has been maintained uh, the koni elephant reserve um, and also uh, there is a buffer area between the elephant facilities and visitor facilities a uh, section level design strategy has been followed um, pinnawala is just like the koni uh, koni a sectional level design strategy has been followed and uh, um, noise buffer and order buffer is provided and also uh, the elephant amenities are away from visitor amenities from all this an inference of spatial hierarchy has been formed about the elephants and mouth mouth shelters in hathigon the mouth shelters is um, along with the elephant shelters and the elephant shelter at koni is 9.5 meters in height including the truss since it is a semi open structure no indoor outdoor segregation is formed elephants in pinnaola uh the elephant shelters are combined and there is no separate shelters for each uh, each elephant and metal roofing structure in which spaces for each elephant is segregated by a short metal by short metal poles the reference inference is that the elephant shelters is the prime function elephant shelter is the prime function in the elephant rehabilitation center and the design for the same should be with respect to the elephant's view and not from the visitors shelter that is well ventilated is preferable and uh, visitors interfaced into the elephant's functional area should be limited uh, next is the site analysis uh, the site uh, location is at kapu kadu kotur trivandrum and the site is the part of agastyavanam forest reserve which is 432 acres the context is forest and uh, part of western ghats 64 acres out of 3 also 432 acres has been selected for the project the reason for selection of the site is that the reserve forest with um, this tropical climate is the perfect surrounding for the um, elephants and being close to the tourist attractions like neyar dam lion safari park the crocodile rehabilitation deer rehabilitation and the deer rehabilitation the site can promote uh, tourist inflow and having reservoir that does not dry up is another quality of the site and need not have to depend on external source of water the site has a history uh, at 1991 the site was selected for uh, growing species of flora which did not uh, succeed uh, due to the climate uh, and 2002 uh, it was meant for the tribes they refused to uh, they refused the land since they did not want to leave their native land and agriculture and in 2017 this was the site was given for uh, elephant rehabilitation center the existing uh, activities in the site is uh, boating facilities at neyar and trekking at kidakumala Kira, and kadirmundi uh, the map shows the ridges and valleys of the site and neighboring and the neighboring site uh, the neyar reservoir maintains a constant water level throughout the year uh the climate uh, the climate proves that it is uh, it is the tem- it is inside the temperature tolerance of the elephants and it is uh, best suited for uh, elephant rehabilitation center the wind direction is uh, southwest to northeast uh, the topography of this land site is slope terrain uh, from 135 meters to 95 meters and um, the drain pattern proves that drain patter gives um detail that uh, all the water gets into the neyar reservoir 
and there is no chance of getting flooded since the water level is in the reservoir is kept constant throughout the year. Uh, about the vegetation, the dark green um, given the dark green area is uh, has a canopy cover of 90% and the light green has a canopy cover of 75%. Uh, the lesser canopy cover can be area can be used as uh, visitor amenities or infrastructural areas uh, so that less vegetation is affected and the rest can be uh, used for uh, elephant amenities. Uh, in case of views and visitors, anyone who enters the site and gets a quick outlook of the whole site and also gives an opportunity of uh, strengthening security. Uh, at the southern portion, uh, there is a view towards the reservoir. Uh, site zoning and design development. Uh, from the case studies, a spatial hierarchy was formed. Uh, spatial hierarchy was formed, and other than that, uh, the site was divided into two elephant spaces and the public spaces because the, it is the livelier region of the site has a view towards the Naya Reservoir, and um, vegetation is less. And the elephant spaces is um, elephant spaces is away from uh, human interventions and um, has thick vegetation uh, and, and is the quietest and coolest portion of the site. The, um, there can be transitional space in between these uh, public spaces and elephant spaces and also at the boundary of the um, reservoir where the elephants bath. Um, then the site can site was divided by divided into areas like um, admin where admin nearer to the entry which um, includes spaces like uh, Vista Plaza, cafeteria, research, library, museum, uh, dung treatment plant etc. And this portion includes the housing zone which includes uh, guest houses, staff quarters and mowed houses. And this dark green portion covers the elephant tethering and free room areas. And this portion is for the um, uh, is for the um, pro, uh, visitor prohibited uh, amenities like um, veterinary facilities, a crematorium, and must elephant shelters. From this was the zoning. From this, the zoning was made. Other than that, the design development had three steps um, by having by. Um, has had three steps that is elephant privacy, uh, building human elephant relation, and elephant scale emphasis. Um, elephant privacy, being an elephant rehabilitation center, the elephants are given more importance and care and well being. Um, they are given more freedom. Elephants can up, see up to um, 20 meters, and uh, human interventions are made. Uh, 20 at least 20 meters away from the elephant tethering and free room areas. Dirt tracks can be made, given to the free room areas, but I am um, other than paved pathways. Um, elephant human elephant relation can be brought up by um, by elephant management activities like bathing, elephant bathing and elephant feeding and also still raised uh, platforms can be uh, provided for to maintain the balance of height difference. Uh, height difference. Uh, elephant scale emphasis can be uh, given by uh, features like da large doorways and plain raised still raised buildings. Um, it is very much better if the elephant shelters are roof structure along with the area which is open to sky so that it can um, it, so that it can be under the rain and the sun uh, for the cows and cows they can uh, needs of social mingling can be provided and for bulls however they prefer isolation each elephant should, uh, shelter should uh, include a roof structure open to sky area, a resting area, a mouth resting area. Sorry. Um, open to sky area, a resting area for mouths and a uh, kitchen for preparing food. Uh, chili or pepper wines can be used for fencing uh, individual enclosures since 
uh, elephants have a distaste to uh, pepper and chili. Next is the biofin uh, special topic that is biofencing. Biofencing is an eco friendly boundary wall to keep animals away. Shrubs and trees like um, populous eucalyptus are used. Human elephant conflict due to elephants, ra elephants raiding the crops and ourselves disturbing their habitat has caused many elephant deaths. Fencing with chilies are used traditionally to keep away the elephants. Other alternative is that uh, electric fencing can be used, which gives a shock that is not harmful, but dares to touch again. Beehive, beehive barriers can also be provided. Uh, the bees will distract the elephants and keep them away. In a rehabilitation center like this, uh, retaining walls allow uninterrupted panoramic view, post, cable, post and cable permeable wall, uh, bridges, moats, metal pipes, uh, concrete walls, or uh, see through gates can be used. Next is the uh, site layout. Firstly, uh, firstly, uh, there is parking for 55 vehicles and uh, heavy vehicle uh, and three heavy vehicle parking at the uh, outermost portion of the site so that it um, maximum noise buffer is made. Um, then comes the elephant uh, tethering area. Um, it is away from the human interventions and at um, the thicker vegetation portion. Uh, this is the free roam area with dirt track and uh, dirt track, mud, mud pond and uh, pond. Um, this is the must elephant shelter. It is away from the uh, other elephants and visitors and it is an isolated position yet nearer to the veterinary clinic. This is the veterinary clinic, um, which is away from uh, the other part of, parts of the site. The elephants being social animals get depressed by others' pain and it, hence it is safe distance is kept from the other elephants. Uh, this is the crematorium, which is nearer to the um, I mean, a safe distance is kept from the um, veterinary clinic and it is the outermost portion of the site. Uh, these four are the individual, shel in, uh, are the individual shelters uh, for, a newly, for the newly uh, entering elephants um, in order to, so that they can have a transitional time to cope up with the site. They are away from the visitors and provides time for them to subside with the center's elephant management system. Uh, it is cool and peaceful among the woods. This is the calf shelter. Uh, the calf shelter has, uh, is nearer to the uh, visitor amenities because they can have a, a better human relation when they as they grow up. This is the admin block. Um, admin block, the museum, the cafeteria, and the paper industry or dung treatment plant. This portion covers the housing area. This is the um, staff quarters, the mort housing, and the guest houses, which has a view towards the reservoir. These are the sections of, this is the housing area section. This is the visitor amenity section, and this is the veterinary portion section. Moving on to the uh, elephant shelters, and uh, there these come in three levels of one meter level difference each, and can be called uh, the chainless shelters. The elephant shelters are left. Free in, I mean, the elephants are uh, left free inside the these shelters without any chains. It has three typologies: typology A, typology B, and typology um, C. In three different levels, as you can see here. And um, as the water body and a water body is given um, whenever. The, uh, whenever the elephants come in or go out of their shelters, they need to have a quick bath. 
since water is the, uh, um, an important resource for the elephant. Moving on to the typology A elephant shelter that is that comes at the first that comes first is um, typology A among the elephant shelters are exclusively for male elephants or bulls. Uh, male elephant prefer isolation and uh, shelters uh, shelters have one elephant shelter, a kitchen and a mow shelter. Um, it has a water collecting. Water storage in, in the kitchen is linked to the elephant shelter and uh, collects rainwater and also collects rainwater. Uh, in this pool, in this type of typology, in this typology, um, minimal viewing of the animal is done, like um, giving the visitors a curiosity. Jolly walls are uh, given for viewing the animal. The um, visitors are not allowed to enter the shelter since um, the bulls need isolation and the jolly walls are um, below the eye level of the elephant so that the elephants cannot be see cannot see the visitors but the visitors can see the elephants and the materials used are um, rubble wall uh, rubble random rubble and slate tiles for the uh, elephant roofing shelter roofing Second type is the shelter B. Uh, typology B. These are for female elephants and the young elephants. Uh, these are accompanied with the open area for three elephants. Um, elephants love to love mingling each other, and hence these these type of these uh, typology. Uh, here the um, visitors can. Com have complete view of the elephants through post and cable at the ground level and um, at the terrace level of mow shelter and kitchen level kitchen area uh, through which is um, which can be approached through these steps which is having a view through the post and cable and This is having a view through post and cable and through the terrace. Next is typology uh, C. Next is typology C that is for two elephants. These elephants will be the most um, most friendly ones in the site. Um, in this in this typology, um, the visitors are allowed to interact with the elephants inside the shelter. Uh, two elephant shelters are given, and uh, cobblestone walkway pavement is given for the uh, given inside the shelter for people to walk and mingle with the elephants. Next is uh, calf, uh, calf shelter. The calf shelter can accommodate uh, up to 12 calves and uh, their respective mouth. Uh, the calf should be taken care of well and needs special attention. Hence the mouth rest area is provided inside the calf shelter and also includes a kitchen for preparation of food. Uh, the calf rooms are separated by iron rod fencing um, and um, natural lighting is provided by skillion uh, roof. The calves are more susceptible. The calves are more susceptible to diseases and uh, should not be allowed. Should not allow. Should not be allowed contact with uh, visitors. And hence, uh, a moat is given around the uh, calf enclosure. And for the elephant's convenience, 1.5 meter. Uh, thread steps are given at the entry of calf shelter. Random rubble is used for the construction along with brick. This veterinary uh, veterinary hospital has two primary checkups, checkup areas, 
cacaf areas and adjacent to it is the test labs like pathology hematho uh, hem hemology and um, hematology sorry hematology and uh, x-ray x-ray uh, area uh, usually the elephants are treated at their shelters or or at open areas but in cases like x-ray scanning and uh, scanning the elephants are brought to the primary checkup areas uh, two surgery rooms are, uh, surgery shelters are given for major surgeries and at level minus five meters and um, the elephant hold area is given for elephants that need special attention special observation uh, that can and so that they are accommodated nearer to their veterinary clinic Next is admin block. The admin block um, covers spaces like ticket counter, office, visitor plaza, curio shop, library, and research. Uh, the admin block is the first building and reflects the elements of other buildings. Random rubble walkway leads to the uh, step of 1.5 meters uh, thread. Um, uh, Jali walls are provided and has a central courtyard. And this is a central courtyard. Another courtyard is given at the library for um, people to, uh, and steps are given for people to sit and read in, in open. Uh, at the research area, uh, sample preparation, region preparation, and micromolecular analysis areas are given. This is the library area, courtyard, and the office. Next is the museum. Uh, the elephant museum, elephant history museum is a circular building next to the admin block and building has three courtyards, one in the central and two in each halls. Um, uh, <clears throat> the pavement leads to uh, steps of 1.5 meter uh, thread and visitors are welcomed by stuffed elephant um, at the entrance and uh, next to it is the uh, elephant skeletal display and at uh, point 0.9 meters is the other uh, facilities facilities an audio visual room of 55 people has been provided then which is in hall one of the um, museum gives information and exhibits uh, elephant traits, characters, and relation with ecosystem. Sorry, sorry. Uh, hall one gives information about um, elephant ancestry. Hall two and is about um, elephant traits, characters, and relation with ecosystem. And hall th this leads to hall three, which is about um, various tools which has been used from olden times. Um, two lecture rooms has been given to carry out informative talks and classes. Uh, this is the entry which leads to the, um, the entry gives a view to the uh, stuffed elephant. This is the courtyard, this is hall one. Next is cafeteria. Cafeteria has two floors. Uh, the ground floor has the dining area, uh, the dining area, washroom, food preparation area, storage room, and dishwash and uh, waste storage. It has a central courtyard which is open to the dining area. Uh, the flight of steps leads to the first floor where the dining area and the outer wall of the dining area is replaced by a parapet and um, has a view towards the calf shelters. Uh, calf shelters. The uh, first floor roofing is sloped towards the parapet side. Uh, next is the tank treatment plant or paper industry. Mm. The circular plan 
allows visitors to view the process of paper making in two levels at uh, one meter level and two meters level at each side of the one meter uh, level. Uh, the um, 0.45 meter level has the um, is the place where all the paper making processes take place. Outside is the uh, dung drying area and pulp washer and oven drying. The entry leads to the uh, one meter height visitor viewing area and that and through the steps to the two meter viewing area. Next is the uh, mount shelters. Mount shelters um, has a 30 square meter residence uh, with one bedroom, um, one living area, and kitchen and a dining. Kitchen with dining. <coughs> Sections are given here. Next is the uh, staff quarters which has which is of uh, 50 square meters and has a living area living room bedroom and kitchen and dining area um, sections are given here it has the front portion of the am mao shelter has a rubble wall and the rest are um, brick walls Next is the crematorium. Crematorium. Uh, at the crema um, at the crematorium, uh, the elephants are uh, elephants mourn for the deaths of um, others, even if they are not of their family. Uh, the crematorium is nearer to the veterinary hospital, but at a safer distance, so that the elephants cannot sense. Uh, it has a in charge room, a record room, and two storerooms for chemicals and utilities, and also an autopsy room uh, at level zero so that the dead bodies are easier to move in. Um, the, the materials used for construction is bantam rubble at the autopsy uh, portion, and the rest of the portion is with brick. Uh, Next is uh, the guest house, two BHK guest houses. Two BHK guest houses has a pool at the um, has a pool at the entrance uh, along with uh, the toilet. Uh, other than that, the ground floor has living area, kitchen, and a bedroom, uh, which is which has a connection to a patio. Um, uh, the steps lead to a mezzanine floor at 2.7 meters, which has a bedroom and connected to a, a upper living or reading space. You can see here, the living area has a double, double height. These are the sections. This is the elevation of the site, elevation of the 2BHK. Through these, that is uh, on top of the living and bed, um, mezzanine floor bedroom, there are two uh, open areas which may of glass so that enough um, lighting is provided. Next is one BHK. Uh, one BHK provides uh, um, a living kitchen and a patio with a pool at the ground floor and the steps lead to the bedroom um, with the balcony and balcony yeah. here also the living is uh, having a um, double height and the mezzanine floor is at 2.7 meters level this is a section through the pond i mean yeah, through the pool through the pool is the elevation at the front side uh, at the area of the pool a metal iron rods have been uh, di iron pipes have been 
it hit here. Here is the pool portion with the PSU. That's all. Thank you.